This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of SketchUp, a 3D Toolbox. I'm Cameron Harris, and today we're going to be talking about navigation in SketchUp, how to move around inside your model. Now, this is a pretty complex subject, but it is actually very easy. Let me show you how. So let's go in and just launch the uh, SketchUp project we were working on the last episode. And you can see, here's a little guy right here. He hasn't gone anywhere. So what we're going to talk about now is how you actually navigate in SketchUp, so how you can pan and tilt and zoom around and get yourself wherever you need to be to work on your model. Now the first thing we want to talk about is the camera. Now that is your point of view. So basically think of yourself in your virtual model as a video camera mounted on a crane or a tripod or something and that's you spinning the camera around. That's how SketchUp thinks of you. It thinks of you as a camera. So wherever you're pointing, that's where you're going to look. Now, you adjust that camera by tilting, panning, and zooming. There are several ways to do this, and we're going to talk about each one in turn. The first way to do it is just using the tools. And you can see there's a section right up here dedicated only to tools in the toolbar. So there's this hand, a magnifying glass. You also have a similar section in your tool palette. Now the first one that we want to talk about is this one right here. It kind of looks like a little, uh, couple twirly arrows twirling around each other in 3D. If you click it, actually if you hover over it, you'll see it's called the Orbit Tool. And if you click it, your mouse pointer when you're in the SketchUp window turns into that same little icon. Now if you click and drag in SketchUp, you can see you rotate around whatever point you click. So if I move my pointer to the right, I turn to the right, move it to the left, I turn to the left, up, down, do a little circles. Pretty intuitive, actually. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's actually very uh, a very nice way to move around. The next tool is this guy right here. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is the pan tool. It's also the hand. Now, select the hand click and hold and move it left and right. You can see this is different from the orbit tool. In the orbit tool, you'll notice if I select it, we were spinning around. See that? We're spinning. But with the pan tool, we're panning. In other words, the camera isn't rotating. It's just moving from left to right, up and down. Left, right, up, down. Again, pretty um, pretty intuitive. Now the last one, this one right here, these two magnifying glasses. All right, the first magnifying glass is the zoom tool. And with the zoom tool, same thing, click and drag. By dragging up, I zoom forward. By dragging down, I zoom back. Left and right don't really make any difference with the zoom tool. Now, I zoom on the point I click. So for example, if I wanted to zoom in on this guy's face, I would click on his face and drag up and just keep on dragging up just like that and zoom in right on his face. Now this last one here is a little bit less commonly used I think. It's called zoom extents. So if I were to use the regular zoom tool to zoom back and select this tool, you'll notice that it doesn't switch to that tool. All it does is zoom in. What zoom extents does is it sort of resets your view. If you get hopelessly lost in your model, which does happen, particularly if your model is very complex and you're kind of new to the navigation, this kind of resets your view so that you can see your entire model. So if I were to, let's say, use the orbit tool and kind of get myself a little bit of a pickle, I'm like, oh, what, what in the world, where am I? I can just click this button and you can see it kind of zooms me right in. Now I can see, oh, that's where I am. I'm right at his feet. It kind of zooms me right in to my model. And if you have a larger model, it's actually quite effective to kind of view the whole thing, save you some time zooming in and out. 
but not very commonly used. So these tools are great, but with all the navigating you do, I mean, they're not very effective. Going back and forth between the toolbar and the main window and all these different things, it would take you forever to get to where you need to go. That's why I like to use uh, if I have no other option, I like to use keyboard shortcuts. Each one of these navigation tools, in fact most of the tools, including drawing tools and selection tools, have keyboard shortcuts. So for example, the orbit tool, let's say I go back to my selection tool here, let's say I want to get into orbit tool. The keyboard shortcut for that is just O. So if you just type the letter O on your keyboard, boom, it switches to the orbit tool and now I can drag around. Let's say I want to get to the pan tool. It's actually the letter H because it's a hand. So I can just drag around now. The zoom tool, the Z key. Pretty self-explanatory, just zoom in and out. And that's, that's a way to go. All right, I'll say that. Uh, if worse comes to worse and you just have a very simple one button mouse, this is a good way to go but there's a much more powerful way to go if you have a three button mouse. Now let's look at that for a second. So you can see this is uh, me using my mouse right here and uh, I am using a three button mouse here. Uh, now what that means is there are three areas where I can click. I have this left button right here which is my normal click. I then also have a similar button on the right side and if I click that that will uh, right click. I also have my scroll wheel in the center. Now my scroll wheel I can you know rotate it like a wheel and get um, that's typically used for scrolling windows up and down but in this case it's also a button so if I actually press in I can actually click it just like another button. Now if you have these set up correctly so in other words if in your uh, computer preferences you have this set to the left click, this set to the right click, and this set to center click or sometimes it's called button three uh, make sure that they're all set up correctly you can actually use these without ever using the keyboard shortcuts to navigate in SketchUp so let me show you what that looks like so if I'm in the SketchUp menu I can use my left click to select things we'll be talking about that a little bit later on but let's say I want to navigate well I can use now watch this carefully I click and hold just like I'm clicking and holding in the orbit tool. So let's see. I have the orbit tool selected. I click and hold the left click button and I can orbit like that. But if I use the center button instead of the left click, you notice I'm not in the orbit tool, I'm in the selection tool. If I click and hold the center button, look at that, it automatically switches me to the orbit tool. I can drag however I want when I release, it takes me right back to the selection tool right where I was. And this is a very, very quick way to navigate through SketchUp. So that's the shortcut for orbiting. Let's say I want to pan, so I want to pan back and forth. Rather than use the H key shortcut or select it like this, again I click and hold the center button or the scroll wheel and you can see I'm still orbiting. If I hold down the shift key it automatically switches to the hand. So by clicking and holding the scroll wheel and the shift key, I'm now in pan. And then I release both, switches me right back to my selection. Now, what about zoom? That's the last one. It's the scroll wheel. If I uh, just kind of move the scroll wheel up and forward, it zooms me in, scroll it back, zooms me out. Now, this is actually kind of interesting. The zoom is sensitive to where your cursor is positioned. So like, let's say I position my cursor on this guy's hand and just scroll in, it zooms me right in on that particular point. If I zoom out, zooms out from that particular point. Go on his ear right here, I can zoom right in on his ear. It's a very nice way to navigate in SketchUp. This is really the way I would recommend you use it. Uh, if you're on a laptop, you're not going to have this kind of setup, but um, if you don't have this kind of setup, I would highly recommend picking up just a cheap little three button mouse 
to use with SketchUp because it will really save you a lot of time. There are more advanced ways to navigate, but those require extra hardware, and we'll be talking about those a little bit later. That's more for when you, uh, you really get comfortable with SketchUp and you want to kind of take it to the next level. For now, this is really a great way to navigate. So remember, either use the Orbit, Pan, and Zoom tools up in the menu bar, or you can also use the Tool Palette, Orbit, Pan, and Zoom. Or you can use the keyboard shortcuts, O for orbit, H for pan, and Z for zoom. Or preferred way is to use the center button on your mouse to orbit, center and shift to pan, and the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Now this is just me, but when I was learning SketchUp, navigation was the thing that took the most getting used to for me. But after a couple days of practicing, it really isn't that big of a deal. It's actually pretty simple when you get used to it. In the meantime, I really recommend that you guys practice. Even if it's just opening up a new SketchUp model and just toying around with that little guy that's in there by default. Do some pans, do some zooms, do some orbits, and get comfortable with it. And I hope that this episode really helps you do that. Uh, in the meantime, I want to remind you that you can find us online at harwoodpodcast.com. There you can check out our forums and oh, email us and suggest ideas and all that great stuff. And speaking of email, our email is harwoodpodcast at comcast.net. I'll see you next time. Goodbye and good modeling.